you will find new way how to finish the edge with sequence, how to attach clip-on element, you will find how to work with crystal chain, how to create outline with seed beads, and of course my favorite part, you will learn how to sew on crystals and beads. First of all, find the pattern of your future star and put your pattern on the felt. Mark middle of the star. Take your big crystals and start to imagine how your future earring will look like. I always try to put some uh, big elements in the middle and for it I will secure my thread by passing through the same spot a couple of times. Then I take a crystal, enter to the holes on the crystal and sew them on to my felt. I will pass through the holes a couple of times to secure my crystals better. As you can see, I use different shape of crystals, different uh, shades of uh, colors. More you use different shades and different shapes, the more interesting your creations will be. To make interesting result, it's all about watching different uh, pictures and other creations. Like that, after some time, you're, you already will feel how to match colors and shapes. Now I will sew on this freshwater pearl. I really like to use freshwater pearls in my creations as well. I really like to use semi-precious stones. As well, I use Preciosa 5mm pearls to make my creation more rich and unique. This time I started my earring a bit differently. I started with sewing on big elements first and only after it I will uh, start with my outline. My thread is too short, I will secure it by passing through the same spot a couple of times. Then I will take a new thread and I start to sew on my crystal chain. To sew on my crystal chain I just uh, go in between two chains on the top and that's it. But I use a double thread to secure my crystal chain better. Now I'm starting to follow the line of the star and I will sew on crystals right on the line of my star. I measure how long I need my crystal chain and then I just cut extra. Continue the same until you will finish our lower line. My lower line is ready and then and I secured my thread and I take a new one. Then I will start to work with my outline. My outline, I will work with a seed bead size 10 0. I will use just a simple seed bead stitch. First of all, I will start with two seed beads. Then I take again two seed beads. I sew them to the line. I go in between the seed beads and I enter to the last seed bead. I will continue the same all the way on my line.
Sometimes on the turns I will use only one seed bead and then I will go back to seed beads and will go through them again. My seed bead edge is almost finished. I will just secure my thread now and I will go all the way up to the all seed beads to secure my edge better and to connect all seed beads together. Now my edge is connected, I will secure again my thread, to be sure that if I won't like my next step I can just cut my thread, but my edge will be on place. I, I made my thread double by making a knot on one of the threads and I will continue to sew on crystals and seed beads to fill in all the gaps on my earring. I will add sequence here and there to add extra sparkle to my creation. Now you can watch and meditate how I uh, sew on crystal sequence and everything to finish uh, my mono earring or you can skip a bit where I will show you how to finish the edge of this earring.
cut out our future earring carefully check from the back side not to damage our threads If you would like to make a brush out of it, I will leave link here. But now I will show you other way how to finish the edge of our embroidery with the sequence. One of my subscribers asked me to show this uh, way and I decided it will be really nice for the clip-on earring as I don't want to make my edge bigger and by using flat sequence my edge will be covered now we do all the same we will need the cardboard and we cover our threads Our earring, our mono earring is almost ready. Clip on element, as you can see, I attached it a bit on the top because if you will uh, place it here, uh, down or uh, in the middle, there is a chance that this top part will fall down from your ear. So better uh, put on clip on element on the top of your creation. Take single thread i have white thread here because my uh, felt is white and uh, on the silver white will be good as well of course you can use mono thread secure our thread in between two layers knot should be in between two layers like that and come out from the felt edge take sequence four millimeters i will check maybe i will use four yes i will use four millimeters as my felt is quite thick 
and to cover the edge I will use 4 mm sequence. You can use 3 mm if your felt is thin or you can use 4 if it's thick, so it's up to you. I will work with 4 mm sequence. As you can see this is 4 mm and this one is 3 mm sequence, so this is the difference between them. We come out from the felt, take one sequence and enter into the felt again and to do your baking to your baking materials then enter to the sequence from the bottom pull take a sequence Skip enough place for half, for half of the sequence and pierce felt and then your baking material and enter to the same sequence from the bottom. Again take one sequence, pierce felt and leather and enter to the same sequence from the bottom again one sequence skip in this in this case two millimeters because my sequence is four millimeters and I have to skip two like a half of the sequence pierce felt and baking material and enter to the same sequence from the bottom again one sequence pierce felt and leather and enter to the same sequence from the bottom and pull. Continue the same all the way around our star. I have almost finished my edge. I will add last sequence in, in, on my edge. I will enter as always to the same sequence from the bottom and then I will enter to my first sequence and will go through my earring. edge with sequence is ready and our earring as well. Now we will secure thread and cut it. I will secure it by passing here and there a few times. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video and comment below if you have any questions or suggestions to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a lovely day. Bye!